Oh no, Plant Man. Plant Man. Yes. Box grow plants, not landfills. Recycle. We're your favorite hosts, Cooper DeLeon. And Jane Zayas. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Hey Centennial, this is your man on the sh Hey Centennial, the ah, this has been your man on the street. I thought you were introing. What? Are you do aren't you doing the intro? Not oh, hey guys, this is your man on the street with Robbie Lee. And today, we are asking more serious questions. If you were on death row, what would your last meal be? Uh, it's pretty hard, man. Yeah. There's Probably some tomatoes. Last meal? Yeah. I don't know, any, anything. Anything? Me, everything. Even like... I'm going to ask for mad food so I can just finish it. Yeah, exactly. Everything. <laughs> Pizza, tacos, burgers, all that. Probably a falafel euro. Bruh. Falafel euro? Yeah. I, I don't know what that is. It's like a vegetarian euro. Oh, it is? Mm -hmm. Are you vegetarian? Yes, I am. Uh, Probably like uh, Olive Garden Infinite Breadsticks. Olive Garden Infinite Breadsticks. But yeah. you're about to die. Well, you never stop. <laughs> if it was your last day on Earth, what would you do? Probably... Go up to random people and just smack them. <laughs> Don't have to show would you rather fight an orangutan with a sword, with their medieval weapon of choice, once every month? Once every week. Or fight a silver, silverback gorilla with your bare hands one time in your life? I can take a gorilla. Okay. Give, me, give me, like... Steroids. Yeah. <laughs> or a Red Bull. <laughs> yeah, so we're, we're hoping to throw a concert here for you guys. With no way. Little Nas X, Khalid, the Chainsmokers. The Eye of the Tiger. Are you sure about that? No Jamie way. Smith. Very serious. If I see that, I'm going to go insane. Hey, have a great day. Yeah. Be a night. Yeah. Good night. I know you love hearing my voice, but now you can go listen to other students' opinions on the Centennial Podcast on Spotify. Hey everybody, today we're going to be looking at the infamous Japanese cherry tree. This East Asian tree is also known as Prunus serrata in Latin. The blossoms on this tree are its most notable feature and are a symbol of spring worldwide. Besides the white or pink flower petals, the foliage consists of shiny reddish brown leaves during or after the flowering period. This tree is, despite what the name implies, fruitless. It is really only grown to witness the blooming in the spring. The blooming period is extremely short-lived and the petals fall to the ground immediately as the tree blossoms. 
the petals falling is usually regarded as a sight to see. Take a look at the Japanese cherry trees at Centennial before they're all fallen if you're interested. If you ever want to plant the tree, here are some precautions. Make sure it is at least 10 feet from other plants, water appropriately, and give it other care as it grows. With that, I'll see you on the next episode of Plant Identification. Hi, my name is Jane Zayas. I'm a 16-year-old junior here at Centennial, but next year I'm going to be a Radio City Rocket in New York. So for people who don't know, the Rockettes are like the kick line girls that you see in the Macy's Day Parade, iconic for their high kicks, and I'm just super excited to be one. I've always trained dancing growing up, I've always been a ballerina, but I'm so honored to say that I'll be leaving for my senior year, but I'll get to be up in New York being a Radio City Rockette, and just all of my dreams are coming true. So during our holiday season for my dance studio, me and my friends made like a silly little TikTok backstage and it actually went kind of viral. It got some views and some likes, which was so surprising to me. I actually found out during my second period IB math class that the Rockettes commented on my TikTok and they said beautiful and that literally made my day. It was so funny. I was not expecting them to comment at all. But I mean, ever since then, we've kind of kept in touch. Um, we've been talking a bit, emailing back and forth and they've checked out some more of my content on my Instagram and on my TikTok because I have plenty of dance content on there. And I sent in my audition reel and they accepted me to be a Rockette for next season. Ever since I was little, I always watched them dance in their shows and in the Macy's Day Parade. And I just always looked up to all of those girls and it's crazy to say that I'll finally be able to be a Rockette. Hello everyone and welcome to Hugh's Guide where I teach you to do something. Wait. The logo's upside down, uh, can we fix this? Okay, thanks. You see, this week, I'm gonna teach you how to make money. So let's begin. Wait, the logo's a bit scrunched up. Can we fix that? Okay, maybe actually let me be on frame. Okay, much better. So the first step is simple. Get a job, it's not that hard. Wait. Why am I in black and white? Come on, ah. Uh, look, I'm trying to be patient. Maybe you made a mistake. Please just fix this. No, this is probably even worse. Just make it normal. Okay. Step two is, wait. Why do I sound like I'm on helium? Uh, can we please make my voice a bit lower? Okay, okay. No, wait, this is too low. Just make it in between. Okay, okay. Thanks. So, let's begin on step two. Wait. I am not an idiot. Just do your job for once. What will it take for you to do your job? Pay you? I can't pay you. This is a school project. Okay, okay, I'll pay you. How much do you want? Oh, 20 bucks, that seems easy. All right, step two is, wait, why is it all blacked out? Why can't I see anything? Are we over? Wait, we're not? Okay, okay. You know what, you stupid idiot? You know what you did? You just made the list. I'm done with this. Screw this, I'm out of here. Welcome to the Centennial Esports Club. Whatever negative connotations you have about us before, you're wrong. We're actually a very cool group of people. We don't judge here. We have multiple skill levels here, ranging from pros to average to ironically bad, and also casuals. Even the teachers join in on the fun. I'm happy to introduce to you guys the eSports Club here at Centennial High School. Um, the eSports Club is a great place to just go and wind down after a week at school. It's an hour of video games after school, meeting new people, and uh, believe me, I can kick your butt and smash. So yeah, we're a pretty chill bunch. But we care a lot about the tech we use. So if you break someone's stuff... It looks like you're going to the shadow realm, Jimbo. Okay, but really though, as long as you help pay for it, it's repairs, it's fine, we understand. So yeah, this is the eSports club. Overall, it's very chill and we hope to see you here. We meet in room J109 every Friday from 3 to 4.30. We have big plans coming both 
after spring break and next year. Hello, Centennial. It's your favorite host, Cooper DeLeon. I have an important announcement. Golden Corral will be at all of lunches in Fulton County starting next semester. Enjoy. Goodbye, Centennial. My name is uh, Mark Volsky. I teach biology here at Centennial High School and I coach the varsity boys soccer team. How did I get involved in soccer? I've always been in soccer since I've been a, like a little kid. Loved the sport, um, played it probably since the age of six. Um, and after high school, um, I got into, I was approached by my high school uh, coach to continue coaching with him and been doing it ever since the age of 19, 20 years old, coaching high school soccer. I'm 51, so this is probably my 31st year coaching high school soccer. So our season so far, we're, we're 12 and four, and I think what has gone very well this year, definitely our captains. We have Jose Behena Gill, and we have Gabe Nickerson as captains. I think they do a wonderful job of, of keeping the kids calm. Um, I think we have a really good coaching staff where uh, Coach Bruno and I, we, we disagree a lot, but at the end we come to a, a good uh, conclusion. Um, so I think the chemistry is all there. Yeah, last Tuesday we played Johns Creek. Uh, we won 2-1, and right from the beginning it felt like a tournament or a, a tournament atmosphere, right from the beginning. We had a, a good crowd. Um, the players, you know, we had a good pre-meeting. Um, the coaches, you know, ex told them what we expected of them. The players responded well came out, scored an early goal, which is not always a good thing. Johns Creek came back and evened it up. And then at halftime, we had two adjustments we needed to make. And I think that was the game winner. The kids came out, the players came out, made those two adjustments um, and did a phenomenal job. Mentally, I think as coaches in the, in the when we did the pregame, I, I think everybody knew how important this game was. But as coaches, we didn't want to put much pressure on the players. So we really didn't make any changes. We had our same conversation. We had our same warm up. We wanted to treat this like any other game. And um, I, I, wanted, I, I do want to say the coaches probably didn't feel that way, but we were nervous, right? But we wanted to treat it just like a normal game. So I think the only change we made was the physical. Uh, starts April 15th. If we lose that game, we play Dalton. If we win that game, we play Carrollton. So there, there's some writing on Friday night's game. So we'd love to see you tonight. We play River Ridge at 8 o'clock at the Fortress. Go Knights! Uh, hey, I'm Stacy, and for spring break, I'm going down to um, Orlando, Florida, to the beach, and going to Magic Kingdom, and then also going to my sample competitions for Weird Vibe. Hi there, my name is Aiden, and I will be working at Maple Street spring break. Uh, hello, my name is Kai Venzer, and for spring break, I will be crying in the Maple Street that Aiden works at. I'm Naomi Borg, and I'm going to Florida with my best friend. Um, my name is Jake Anderson, and me and five other friends are renting a house in St. George Island, Florida for the week. My name is Kinsley Stevens, and for spring break, I'm going to Destin on Saturday with five of my friends. Welcome back to The Loft. Ava Fourth. That's it for this week's Centennial. You're, You're watching, watching The Loft. Loft.